All right there, ladies and gents. Well, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been so long. I had a lot of issues, etc., with videos and things going on in my personal life. But yeah, this one's a little bit of a throwback episode from a few months back, unfortunately. I've got a little bit of catching up to do with them, but yeah, I'm going to get there soon. Hope you enjoy today's multi species target session. It's just a quick explore out of a night and a day. Next upcoming video is going to be a, a really good one, and then we've got an absolute cracker coming up after that as well. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm sure you're going to love it all. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to get all your future updates from myself. Hope you've been enjoying. I will catch you lovely people soon. Ciao for now. All right there, folks. We are down at the shoreline. Just waiting for a bit of a gully at the moment. Still quite a few prawns around, which I'm actually quite surprised about. Considering prawn season, for the most part, is pretty much over. Some big ones that I've seen. Let me just... Uh, tell by the reflection of the eyes and just having a look underneath these ledges at the moment. See if I can uh, see any telltale signs of crabs or lobsters. It's pretty much what we're going to be after tonight. Plus anything of interest that we can show you all. So yeah, I do have a nice, nice new set of shiny waders on. Brand spanking new. First time I've used them, so We'll see how they hold up tonight. As the water temperature is still around sort of 15, 16 degrees, but and there's the gully that I'm going up. Just coming up here. Yeah, the water temperature's around sort of 15, 16 degrees still, but dropping quickly. But the air temperature at the moment tonight is only expected to be about nine, maybe 10 tops. So yeah, it's pretty cold at the moment. Another prawny down there. It's so easy to see at night. You can literally just see the glint of eyes. And down in the back there, there's a nice little shore crab. Another little one down there as well. Yeah. The eyes of creatures show up so well at night time. It's uncanny. You can just see them glistening from like, at least a good 10 meters away. As soon as a reflection of the light hits it. Yeah. I will uh, see you folks in a sec, see if we can find anything. Well, hopefully you can see it there folks, we have a brown edible crab down in the back of that one. Try and get an angle on it for you without putting my camera directly in the water. Yep, just down the back there. Too small to keep. There's also another one just underneath down there, again, too small to keep as well. So we were, won't bother dragging them out. Yeah. Found something at least. There's plenty of things to see. Loads and loads of prawns and shrimps and little fish darting around as I'm sort of digging around. But yeah. We'll uh, oh. Sorry that, I just got hit in the face with my bucket. There's the prawns down there. Oh, they've hidden underneath here now. Right down there, right by my foraging hook. See if the uh, glint of the eyes shows up on the camera for you all, but that's uh, the easiest way to see them. Yeah, sorry, I haven't got hit in the face with my bucket then. I've got it sort of uh, clipped to my backpack. And as I sort of went down, it swung around and it smacked me in the side of the face. That would have been interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, we'll carry on our journey. There's a... Uh, nowhere near as much seaweed down here as there was last time which is lovely that it's cleared up a bit so it might make finding things a little bit easier might make the terrain a little bit easier to traverse as well if there's anything down in the back there oh, i think it might just be clogged with seaweed yeah just seaweed in the back of that one never mind we'll continue our journey the hunt continues all right there folks again in the back of that another brown edible crab a little uh velvet swimming crab as well they almost got eaten by him then if he had fallen in that brown crab would have not been too happy too small to keep but yeah it does pay to know exactly where you're looking for for these sort of gully areas looking for oh, i'm gonna make a big shadow now with the camera sorry there looking for things like this which is recently dug out sand definitely does help especially when you're trying to look for them whether it's day or night and looking in this sort of uh these ridged areas with these little caves and stuff like that and it definitely pays to know what sort of area to look for 
when you're looking for crabs and lobsters and the like. Yeah, we'll uh, continue on out down there now, see what else we can find. All right there folks, moving on out a bit deeper now. These things are mean. They have a, a pretty big attitude. Pretty decent size there. Uh, Velvet swimming crab as well, that one. Get it to calm down a second. Give you guys a little bit of a closer show. But it's not too blinding with the, uh, the light on it there. But yeah, nice size velvet swimmer. They will give you a nasty nip if you let them get hold of you. They definitely will, that's for sure. So, I don't think we've got anything in this one today. Just a velvet swimming crab. Small little bass down there, guys. Prancing along. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Small little bass, little schoolie, little schoolie bass. Hopefully, you can see it all there, folks. But that little uh, yellowy gold star pattern on the um, serrated rack just in front of you there, just here. That there is called Star Ascidian. I've never seen it growing on seaweed before. Normally it's on the underside of rocks. There's another little patch of it just here as well. Just there. And another one just there. Awesome stuff to see. But yeah, never seen it growing on a uh, set of uh, serrated wrap before. Interesting little find. Just come across this little wrasse down there. Oh. See if we can get a better angle on it. Yeah, just come across this little raft. I don't know what the little fella's doing. Hope oh, you are alive. And off it goes. Weird. Yeah, little cock wing raft there. All right, there, guys. Right, well, take a little bit of light away. We might better see him a bit better. Down there, we have a squat lobster. No idea why you are out the water, mister. We will put you back in down the back there because there was a bit of water back in your hole. Oh, sorry for the light. Let's get you back in there. There you go, back into your water. Yep, that one there was the olive squat lobster. All right there, folks. I've come across these guys a couple of times before. And actually, down the back there, if you can see it moving, there's a uh, pipefish hiding down there. Found a little, uh, nice little honey hole. These things down here. Oh. Try and get a better angle of them. Foot stuck. There we go. Odd angles everywhere. There's actually two of them. These things here are called decorator crabs. Yeah, awesome little things. They're like just like pieces of seaweed. There's another one down there as well. And pipefish. Come here, you. Yeah. This is a snake pipefish. It's a small one. They can grow probably 50% bigger in length and probably twice as thick as this. They're actually related to the seahorse. But yeah. A couple of little things to see, which is awesome. I'll let you go there, buddy. There you go. You can go and hide. Hide for another day. Yeah, plenty of little prawns and crabs and stuff hiding in the crevices here. Let's see what else we can go find. Oh, there, folks. A little female brown edible crab. Just hiding away there. Again, as I said earlier, pays to know where to find these things and finding them literally just going along the crevices and places like that. They just slide themselves in and they'll just hide out. Yep. I'll stick her back in. She's far too small to keep, but I thought I'd uh, give you a show and tell. At least there's a nice healthy population for the future. I'm quite a few of the uh, smaller ones this sort of size. But yeah, we'll get her back in. There she goes, back into our home. Another little rass down there, guys. Trying to hide. <laughs> there he is, right there. 
such pretty little colours on them as well. All right, there, folks. We're just heading back along this sort of uh, little pier area. Gonna go check out a couple more holes, and then that's pretty much us done for night number one. I'm going to be out a couple more times this week, hopefully. We've got some amazing tides. Just a shame, there's a lot of things to show you all, but it's difficult to get it on film at night time. Everything just darts away, especially like all the little dragonettes and gobies and things like that. Trying to get them to stay still, or trying to find one that's actually willing to stay still is a, uh, another matter. Things like prawns, like this down here, and the shore crabs are easy enough to pick up on. Same with like, the velvet swimmers and <clears throat> the brown edible crabs, excuse me. Still got this horrible cold. But yeah, I'm going to be out a couple times this week. So you may see the same location a couple times in a row. Depends on where I can get to and where I can go. But yeah, I will... Um, that was a, something fit there, but it wasn't. I'm going to go check out a couple more spots. If there's anything else, I will tag it in after. If not, that is night number one done for us, and I will catch you guys on the next evening. See you in a mo. And boom, just like that, we are back. Yep, it's not quite the night time, I promised. I know, apologies for that. Had a few uh, issues, a couple of little safety concerns. One of the nights that I was going to be going out, excuse me while I just get through this bit, it was uh, extremely, extremely foggy. Fizz was down to about 10 meters, so I didn't actually go out as it was a bit too... Uh, unsafe to do so being by myself if i did get injured or ended up somewhere where i was stranded i wouldn't have been able to be found so yeah i didn't uh didn't quite go and then last night i was gonna try and i'm gonna start i was gonna try and come out as well but with just work and other things i was just far too tired so the last thing i want as i do have epilepsy unfortunately some of you know that some of you might not but i didn't want to end up triggering a seizure due to overtiredness so i'm out today instead so it's going to be a night day rather than night 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 however little sneak peek for the next video coming up for you all we've got a delicious scallop catch and cook I went out down to another estuary we basically had a, uh, a multi-species target session found absolutely loads of goodies so you have to stay tuned for that one and uh, also got my hands on several delicious hand caught scallops by myself so yeah lovely little barbecue catch and cook coming up I'm going to follow my usual route coming down here at the moment. I'm going to see what we can find for you all. And we'll get back to you shortly. I'm going to come across one of these in a little while there. A little uh, cushion star. Or Asterina. Yeah. Nice orange colour. You can get them different colourations. Sometimes they're sort of bluish. Most of the ones around here have this sort of orangey tint to them. Yeah. We'll get this guy put back. Or girl. Whichever, I'm back you go there. Wow, you wouldn't believe it's uh, autumn here in the UK at the moment with weather like this. Pretty much 20 degrees. And absolutely and utterly stunning. I almost feel like I should be in the water having a, uh, a last dive, but I might try and get to that next week if we get a chance. Checking out this gully area here. Let's see a little bit of a hole up here. Let's go have a look. Anything back there? No, it's been filled in with a rock. Nope, not finding that one today. Just some rocks. That's not what we want. We want those larries and those crabos. That's what we're after. Yeah, All right. I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Just have a quick turn of some rocks. See if we got anything. Anything exciting? Oh, we've got a nice sea urchin there. I can rest that. Just there. Covered in tons of stones on the spikes. Oh, that's a nice sized one. Nothing much else, but no. That's a nice big sea urchin. Probably one of the biggest I've seen around here. Give you guys a little bit more of a show there. There we go. Definitely pop this one down. No crabs scurrying around today. Right, down you go buddy. Let's carry on. Alright there, we've got a whole treasure trove of goodies down here. We've got brittle stars, more brittle stars down there. We've got this guy that's decided to detach himself. No 
the sea urchin. There, buddy. We've got here a broad claw, broad claw, sorry, porcelain crab, some more teeny tiny brittle stars. We've got a furrowed crab down there. This one. Another furrowed crab down there. A little fish, little goby or blenny somewhere as well. Yeah, I'm sure. There was also a velvet swimming crab that scurried away. Oh, there he is. There he is, mean old velvet. Mean old devil crab. There he is with red evil eyes. Oh, they're pretty cool crabs. I love their adaptation of the back legs here. That there is uh, enable them to go a bit quicker in the water. They normally tend to go skits as soon as you hit them. They're hyper aggressive. As you can see. Yeah, we get this rock flipped back over and let all these creatures carry on with their day. Some cool colorations on that brittle star there. All right there, folks. Another clam. Don't find many of these around here, especially not this size anyway. Not taking it today, but thought I'd give you a little show. I think this one's a Venus clam off the top of my head. Something like that. But yeah, thought I'd give you a little show. All right there, folks, down here, and what gave it away for me, brown edible crab, peeled from the back, as you can see. And then, just down the back there, we have another brown edible crab. Not sure if it's the same one, because it does have keel worms on it, so it could be that that one's a female. I'll see if I can get it out and give you guys a show in a second. Looks like a half decent size anyway. Hello folks. This was a different one. The other shell that's there of a uh, male brown crab. Sorry for the uh, shake of the camera there. Yeah, not this guy. As you can see all the keel worms on him. If this was a new male, a new peel, it would um, not have any of them on and it would be soft and this is quite hard. So this guy's going to be fairly close, I think he's probably going to be somewhere around 140, so I think he's probably going to be just out. But yeah, I'll get my tape measure out, and I'll give him a measure. I'll pop him down there for a second, I'll turn my camera off, get my tape measure out, and get back to you guys in a sec. Alright there guys, as I said, not quite big enough. This one here is nearly 140. Not big enough for us to take, but yeah. Biggest brown edible crab i found in a little while anyway. I'll show you a sec. Give you guys a bit of a closer show. Come here, yeah. Yeah. Lovely male specimen. Shame you're not just a, a couple centimetres bigger, otherwise that would have been delicious tasty crab cakes. But there's a couple other people I think that wanted to see if they're still here. Anything I found, they're just speaking to a couple that were uh, out trying to find some uh, nudie branch and other small creatures and take some nice macro shots. Yeah, I'll see if they're there and see if I can give them a quick show of this. If not, I'll put him back in his house. Alright, they are not there, so I'm going to put this guy back into his home. There you go, buddy. Off you go. Let's see if we go, it might just take a second. Give you, uh, give you your seaweed back and keep you out the sun. Yep, tired to be coming in a moment, so it'll be perfectly fine. See you later. Well there folks, what better place to sign off than this? It is lovely, but unfortunately the tide is coming back in, so I'm going to have to head on back. I might try and uh, just explore over here a little bit as I'm heading on back in. But yeah, amazing, amazing tides it's been. Found some incredible creatures. To say, spoiler for the next one, we've got dogfish, we've got scallops, we've got sole, we've got conger eels, we've got so many different species. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Hope you've enjoyed this little one as well. It's not been quite what I thought it would be, unfortunately, but it's what it does sometimes. But yeah, stay tuned for the next one. It's gonna be amazing. I love you all. And remember, stay safe and have a good day. Bye for now.